Okay, Friday morning in the kingdom, yes. But Friday means nothing to us. Yes, because we're retired. It's not like we have a real job and we get off at 5 o'clock to go home and party all weekend. Oh, that was my wasted youth. Now I'm an old guy holding a stick at the end of the world. And it's actually warm out here today. Yes. All right. We are at minus 6 Celsius this morning, but feels like minus 11. Yes, it's a warm, but it's a warm chilly because there's no wind. Yesterday I froze holding a stick and doing that intro four freaking times. All right. All right. Plus 21 on the yo-yo scale, but feels like plus 12 on the Fahrenheit. On freaking real. All right. The me phone and I seem to be getting along this morning. Just like when I called Daisy May's escort and they love me. Oh, the ladies love me till my credit cards decline. And then it acts like the me phone doesn't know me, doesn't want to cooperate. All right. So also too, I forgot to tell everybody. Okay. It's officially winter. The bug season's over. So now we're wearing this speed stick. Yes. I don't know what the staff paid for this. Okay. But we're back to wearing the speed stick because we don't wear it in the summer because it's like a whore lure to the flies and the mosquitoes and it attracts them. So this stuff attracts them. Okay. So we get a kick out of these people that come from the south. They're wearing speed stick and aftershave and everything like that. And the flies just are attracted. The little sand flies, the mosquitoes, the unreal. So we don't wear this stuff because you you wear this stuff, you know, one shows up and you kill it, you know, you swat it on your arm and then a thousand show up for the funeral. un freaking real So now we're it's back to winter. We've been wearing this for a couple of weeks now. It, it takes a while to get used to the smell again, right? And remembering to put it on. But it's not like I go out in public either, okay? All right. So that's the joys of wilderness Alaska. But in northern Manitoba, we don't wear the speed stick in the summer. Yes! All right, let's scroll this way. If the me phone will allow it. Okay. As you see, there's no sun. It's overcast, which is normal. Yes! So this makes it doom and gloom. And people wonder why I leave all the lights on. Yes, I tell about it in my remote living book. Or living remote. Yes, leave the lights on. You need brightness to be happy and cheery, you know, just like the Playboy channel. You got to keep happy. All right. So we're not sure what we're doing today. We should be tinning the roof, but we also have a problem. Moving the wood stove. Oh, a burp, a peanut butter. Okay. Moving the, oh, oh, I got the itchies. Yeah. It's beside my nose, not in my nose. Okay. All right. So moving the wood stove over there. Okay. Wherever it is. All right, that took out all our glove. All oh, these lips need some more vodka. That took out all our glove drying abilities. Because when we're out here working in the wilderness, Alaska, but in northern Manitoba, we have about five or six pairs of gloves that are being dried. So you get one set wet, you change them out, it warms out your hands. So that's what we have to do now. Now that the wood stove has a double barrel officially in location. Yes, now we can set up the glove drawings and all that kind of stuff because that is important. And then hopefully if the staff has a day off from her real job, we can start putting the tin on. We start at the chimney. Yes, because the chimney has to be in the flat part of the tin because we're going to use that flat bump, flat bump style tin. That's the new style, not the corrugated ripply, wobbly or whatever ones. So that's what we're going to use because we actually have long sheets of that. Okay. So that's what we have to do. Plus we have to do the edging on the, uh, the rafter thingy me bobs there. So it's not just like we can slap the tin on. So today we're probably going to take the day and get organized. So we have dry, warm gloves and the wood stove working. So when we're freezing our tushy off, putting the tin on, trying to get the little screws in. Then we can change out our gloves to warm up. Well, I better go. Here comes the boss. Okay, to walk the dogs this morning, we went back and forth from the wood trailer. Yes, this is recycled, repurposed wood one more time. As you can see, we've used it before. 
we got some other items here some used plywood recycle reuse this is the life of living living remote and we got a light that i keep throwing out but i would keep it bringing it back it's those fluorescent lights it's got that big ballast that hums and you can't buy that ballast anymore okay so over here this wood stove is putting out the heat today yes the damper is open it's right there simple mathematics up and down means it's open and the vent down here is open and the thing should be burning out of control and melting itself but we're in a low pressure system like when i boiled my water for my coffee it took forever all right let's get to work we're going to do some organization skills today Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom. I hung a light up there, just wired it on, made sure it's at an angle so if the roof leaks, it drips off. Okay, so over here, we hung the big fan that gives us the speeds of Wyoming, wind speeds of Wyoming and Saskatchewan if you're in Canada. So that's pumping the heat forward. But we have to unplug it and plug it back in every time we do a video. So I got smart, seeing how I am a qualified, um, unqualified electrician. I went to the shed and got some pieces here so we'll make the switch turn the fan on and off as usually we forget to unplug the fan is when we got the camera in our hand so we're trying to do it with one hand so we'll dress up this little wiring here and get things going and then start making some mitten racks or glove drawing racks and then maybe we'll build a door today we're not sure but we got to take time out for these loose ends also to look at the floor all right the floor is drying out okay so one week ago this was frozen and it would be frozen again in the morning so now with the heat from the wood stove and heating everything up the ground is thawing out so it'll hold the heat overnight so it's not frozen so this is working out very well so if we build a door for over there we can actually get the mini out because we kind of uh how would you say feel restricted without the mini the mini i mean the whole i go oh, these lips need some vodka for speaking like that the hoe needs to go outside and be free you know it can't be in here all the time it's got things to do out there okay we're having a late coffee we got the new curtain up without a whole bunch of holes in it we put a curtain rod up for the tarp to slide back and forth because it'll be a fact of life until we get this part insulated here okay so the electric furnace can handle the old part of the shop and we got the curtain tied back oh it's curb appeal oh this is home and gardening or whatever just put some wood in the stove there it's burning nice we got the barrel set up to build a door it'll be just like the pool table at the pool hall with the one light over the table all right let's have a quick coffee and get back to work friday morning in whoville it's just after 9 a.m and i'm off to work now i'm not sure how long i actually work today and once i'm done there i'll head on over to the kingdom i think my dad's playing with tin and getting stuff for the roof ready so i'll handle that once i go over there now let's head to work a little after 1 p.m. I just got home from work. Now it's time to let the dogs out and make lunch. It's been on and off snowing all morning. As you can see, the sun is trying to peek out behind the clouds, but it is pretty warm, so that means it's going to snow. I'm not sure what my dad's doing in the kingdom, so I'll find out when I get over there. 2 o'clock and I got the quad out. Now it's time to head up and do mail, and then I'm going to go over to the kingdom and see what my dad's up to today. A little after 2 p.m. and I just got to the kingdom. There was nothing in the mail today, which is normal for us. At least there was no bills or anything like that. Now it's time to head down to the shop and see what my dad's up to. Looks like my dad was busy this morning while I was at work. He Jimmy rigged a light up on the top here, as you can see. And these ones on this side are the replacements for the old lights that we had. We had really long eight foot light panels that were up in the ceiling here. And we changed them out to these small four feet ones. And then there's a few other ones that we changed as well. So I have to go down to the scrap pile and see if I can find them because we want to put them into here now and we don't have any other light panels or anything else to put in here so hopefully I can find them and they're not destroyed. My dad also brought in some 2x4s and some plywood over there as you can see. I'm not sure what he's going to build with that but I'm sure it'll be something useful. Maybe a shelf or a door or I'm not even sure. But it's going to be a slow relaxing day today because we did a lot the last few days and I hurt my ankle today as well because I have bad ankles so I'm limping around pretty bad today. Now I am down at the scrap pile. My dad asked me to check the vehicles and everything here to see if I can find those light panels. I'm not 100% sure where they are. I know we put them somewhere, so we'll give it a little look-see around here and see if I can find them. I think I might have found the light panel. Can you guys spot the light panel? Let me know if you guys can find it. 
It is right here, underneath all this heavy stuff. I'm not sure how we're gonna get this out. And then there's one right there. I might be able to get that one out. Uh, this one right in the top here. I might be able to get that one out, but the rest of them seem pretty buried. I thought this would be a good light panel until I look down here and there's a kind of a piece missing. So I have to continue looking and hopefully I can find one that's not broken. Over beside the wood pile is just on the other side of all this stuff. My dad said to come check over here as well to see if there's any light panels, but I'm not seeing any. He said they're in around the fridges here and the stove, but I don't see any. So I'm going to move some stuff around and look. Well, I couldn't find anything, and all the stuff here is way too heavy for me to lift and move around, so I might have to wait until we get the mini out of the attachment. That way it can come down here and pull some of the stuff back, just so we can look for light panels. Coffee time. I'm over at the wood trailer loading up the wheelbarrow here. That way my dad will be set in case it snows. As you can see, it is trying to snow out. It's been like this most of the day. I'm not sure if we're forecasted for weather, because my weather channel is not cooperating right now it's having issues everything that i see on there is outdated and stuff so i'm gonna fill up the wheelbarrow and drop it back in the shop brought the wheelbarrow up to the shop and my dad just wants me to leave it outside because he's moving stuff around inside the shop so once he's done with that he can haul this in himself it did take me felt like an eternity just to pick through all this and just to get enough kindling I'm trying to do my video hello at least he can see you through the window you must have done something right if they open uh, for now anyways they're not frozen shut yet 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 as i was saying it took me a long time to pick through all this and i probably have maybe one or two more wheelbarrows before we'll have to go down and fill up the wood trailer again but we can't do that until we get the mini out of the shop can't do that either until we put some doors on here that way we can open it up and get the mini out because it's kind of trapped in the attachment right now 3.30 and I'm officially done in the kingdom. It was a pretty slow day. We're just doing odds and ends around. And as you can see, we got some blue sky trying to peek out as well. And the sun's trying to come out from behind the clouds. But you know what that means? More snow's on the way. I would say I'm going inside to get the dog treats, but my dogs are being picky right now and they're not wanting to eat them. So let's head on back into Whoville. On my way back from the kingdom, I wanted to come down here and give you guys a little view from my fishing spot. This is actually the spot where my little dock is, as you can see right here. Looks like people have been trying to walk on the lake already, and that's not smart. If we look over there, we have some water popping up, but for the most part, the lakes are starting to freeze. I can't wait to go ice fishing. Sorry about the background noise. We're doing some stuff at the water treatment plant, which is actually just around the corner on the side here little after 4 p.m. and this is the weather we're sitting at today. It's 1 degree Celsius, which is 33 degrees Fahrenheit. We have the fields like on the bottom. It is pretty nice though, but I'm sure it's going to snow because every time it gets warm, it snows. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and end my day. Okay, the staff brought me some kindling in. It's thawing out. It's melting the mud and the dirt and the snow off. Okay, and we got some gloves kind of staying warm here. All right, we've got a little workplace set up here. We're building a door. Yes, we need to get the mini out, so if we take the rule door off, because it doesn't fit, and then we can put this one into place, because it still fit. And then we can worry about the hinges later, okay? So, what we're doing is we're short everything, okay? Just like my honeymoon, short. Alright, I don't have enough 9 foot wood, okay? The other door, which is that one there, when I built it, I had lots of wood to choose from, right? So I'm making nine foot wood. So I figure if I build two frames here, okay, there's the one, and that will slide into here, all right? It'll slide on the side here and get anchored up there, all right? So then I just have to cut the little short pieces and screw nail it in. But we're short screws and everything. And so what we're doing is putting the boards on the inside here, okay? In theory, we'd have long enough screws to go right through the two 2x4s two and into the studs or whatever. I don't know what you call it or whatever, but this is the way we're building it. We're probably building it backwards, upside down or whatever. But I'm a journeyman welder, not a carpenter, and we're at the end of the world. We just don't run to the hardware store to get supplies, okay? So we're using screws that are too short, and we knew they don't suck up. So we're going to use the screws for assembly and then hold it together with the r docks or spiral nails. Because in 20 years time, this door will be kindling if we try to recycle it because the Ardox nails, you can't get the wood apart unless you split. it splits. So that's the project now, is to get this door framed in and sheeted. And then the staff, when she's sober tomorrow, she can help me flip it over. 
okay because there's no way i can flip it over and get it back up on the barrels because the floor is way too soft but as you can see it's drying out and it's still wet over there so that's slowly drying out which is good the floor being warm gives the building heat and you'll keep the heat when the wood stove dies out okay all right let's get back to work so we can finish this and drink beer professionally okay i manhandled the frame together so i can get a measurement okay because the boards are all different lengths and stuff like that but that's all par for the course it would have been easier if we had uh, proper wood proper screws proper everything but oh wait we don't live in the south we live in wilderness alaska better known as northern manitoba so i got my pieces here cut in measured in okay so i have to take it apart now or basically just slide the one frame off and then i can prefab these together screw nail them all good and then slide this piece back on the outer piece and then make a piece down there to join it okay so this should work out good thoughts required so i haven't been indulging in the vodka okay just about six o'clock and i got the frame almost complete yes okay this will be the hinge side right here which will go up there okay so i'm building it in relationship to that i'm not upside down or left or right or whatever so these here was where the hinge will go so i've added extra support and then over here this is for the air compressor hose and the 220 cord to go through the other door has it oh we don't have that door okay all right so we had it so we need this to shove through that way we're not opening the door and with the skirting on the bottom you can't uh how would you say run it under okay so i got these boards screw nailed together i only have enough screws for one so now i'll hammer in the r docks or the spirals so also too in my thinking to get this one to join into here this will be just long enough so now i can beat on it and my hammer of choice since i'm a good carpenter is the ball peen yes so handy i can't figure out claw hammers they're so light duty girly man hammers all right let's get this project done so we can drink beer professionally what's up kingdom followers sir rodney from west trans here live on location at west trans i gotta show you guys something i got something in the mail today totally unexpected i had no idea what was going on with this but this is what i got i got a happy birthday card because it was my birthday last month signed by one of the kingdom followers and i'm probably going to screw up his name but it looks like mr hanchke and i opened the card and there was some funny money in there i guess i got to go to fargo and get a burger now and go to culver's so thank you very much i really appreciate it i'm gonna have a nice burger and maybe a drink on you from uh, Phillips, Wisconsin. Thank you so much. Keep following, keep liking, keep sharing. Okay, I just topped up the wood stove, so that's why we're getting that smoke. It still won't burn today because we aren't in the low pressure, but I'm really enjoying that double barrel because that double barrel's putting out the heat. Like that was heat that was going straight up the exhaust or the smokestack or the chimney. Okay, because the day before we tried it and it was we chilly in the shop. Today is the same weather, same wood, same everything, and it's warm in there. All right, let's scroll this way. Ah, it's dark. It's 7 o'clock. Yeah, it's in the flags. are all a tangled mess. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, make a video, and we'll talk to you guys later.